The Big Ten is filled with idiots. There's no rational basis whatsoever right now to be canceling non-conference football games. Zero. The only rational basis to cancel non-conference football games is if you believe either there are health issues or there are travel issues. There are neither. There are neither health issues nor travel issues. If there are health issues in non-conference games, they should be expanded upon. If you are less likely to get the virus playing against non-conference opponents, then that is an indictment of the health conditions that those other players are playing under. There is no indication that I have seen for why Iowa and Iowa State shouldn't be able to play in the state of Iowa when they're traveling back and forth to the game by a bus and why in the world Nebraska can travel all the way across the country to play against Rutgers. There is no legitimate justification for canceling non-conference college football games. Zero. This is a move made by idiots in the Big Ten to placate idiots in the media who don't understand basic issues as it pertains to the coronavirus. It makes no sense why it would be safe to play conference games and not play non-conference games. In fact, it's 100% safe. You are more likely if you are a college kid playing athletics to die of uh, of the flu. You are more likely to die driving to campus than you are to die of the coronavirus. That's for all college kids, athletes included and also people out there in the woke media. The corona bros in the media who are like, oh my God, what if somebody dies playing college football? Somebody could die not playing college football. Nobody ever points out the absurdity of that argument. College kids who are playing athletics are safer on their campus than they would be if they're off campus. What do I mean by that? They have access to doctors. They're being tested every day. If you believe a college kid is going to die of the coronavirus, they're actually less likely to die on a college campus where they have medical treatment every day than they are staying in an apartment or a condo or a house off of campus. This is not in any way a difficult solution. This is insanely easy. There is less danger to college football players on a college campus than there is off of a college campus. The data is clear. There's almost a 0% chance of anybody dying who is college age. Almost a 0% chance of anybody dying who is playing college football. But if you are going to get sick, the best place to be treated is on a college campus where they have tons of medical professionals. If you actually get the virus, as many players have, none of them are being hospitalized. They either have no symptoms or it's like a cold. I don't understand why the idiots in the Big Ten are being supported by the idiots in the college Corona Bro media and nobody out there is willing to actually look at the data. This is insanely easy. This isn't a challenge. This isn't remotely difficult. The data is straightforward. This is an easy solution. All right? There are no challenges at all associated with this. Drives me crazy. 